Hello, my warriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, I want to bring the Stone Rhino X to the battlefield today, and it is almost done. This thing is a beauty. It is a crazy mech with a rotary autocannon 20 in its center torso. And I, I think we're gonna just try and see if this is doing a thing or if it's complete and utter garbage. We have some LRMs as support, as you can see. We have a mask to make it somewhat fast. And uh, yeah, we are running a fire control system Mark II, risk sensors, which give us not too much. Life support is also open still. And then interface cockpit. I mean, we are kind of in the end game. Let's have some fun. And I already figured out what I want to do with the guy. So let's put two AMS Mark IIs here in a one, on, one in each side torso. And to top it off, we also got a battle computer tracking that I want to put in the mech as well. Now the rest of it, I would say, is ferro fibers so that we have a bit more weight for the sake of ammunition let's put a double bin in here and then regular or caseless caseless gives us more shots hmm. let's take a regular bin so we don't have to worry about that the caseless ammo also jams a bit more often and since we are running a proto double heatsink kit i think i can put another proto double heatsink into the mech and perfect this is where i want to be Alrighty. Uh, let's drop the leg armor down to, what, 100 and... Actually, 200 on each leg. Perfect. Not perfect. All right. We'll do it just like that. And then we need to think about our life support and a sensor. So what do we have here? I mean, risk gives us, what, two sensor detection? Fog of war stays around, if you revealed around the unit. Sure. Um, There's no kind of ECM in the mech, huh? Is this a problem? I guess it is a problem. Maybe AMS is not the best idea. Instead, we're gonna slap an ECM on it. I was looking at the sheath beacon and I was like, yeah, interface cockpit prevents us from doing that. Mm. All right, but still, uh, wh what do we what do we do here? What do we put in the mag? The sniper sensor, more sight and sensor range, the power sensor. No, that's not good. Light is not what we need. Searchlight. No, I think it is a. Uh... I think it's a sniper. Do we have any components here? Only tactics. Oh boy. Man, we need gunnery. Yeah, this is a jam chance mitigated by gunnery. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Mm, we don't have it. That's the thing. And I still believe that we should probably put some countermeasures into this mech in order to uh, protect it a little bit. Not just a little bit. So, I would say AMS be gone. Wrecker goes here. Angel goes here. Active probe goes here. I think it's okay to overcool it a bit. Um, is this a bloodhound? No, it's not a bloodhound. The clan active probe is basically almost as good as the bloodhound. No, this is fine. This is alright. Million. No. Man, we have like, what? Two slots and two tons. What the hell are we doing with it? I could technically take one AMS and one ton of ammo, but I don't see it. I don't feel it. No. I wish I had more ammo. More ammo for the rack. I wish I had another, like, battle computer. Let me see what we got. Nothing. <laughs> Great. Absolutely nothing. I could, I could just run it. Have some fun with it. Tactics in here, because we can. Oh, wait, we... Ah, that's com suite. That's a copied item. Never mind. We have interface. Yeah, I, I think this is basically the build. Do we have any like shoulder actuators? Something that helps us not taking that much damage, like upper hardened. It's good, man. Five percent damage reduction. Boom. Oh, that's upper recoil that I'm running. Sure, we need to keep those. What? What about l lower? Huh? Give me a second. Is this universal? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it, it lowers the heat build up by one. But you know what? It's fine. Let's use it. Again, we want to overcool a bit because the rotary autocannon 20 has a base rate of fire of three, dealing or generating 39 heat, so 13 per shot. And if we want to go higher, then uh, we, we want to pad our cooling a little bit. Guys, this is the build. It's all we got right now. And I, I want to bring it to the battlefield. Let's have some fun with that. We are also horribly in debt 
So, what the hell are we doing now? I would say we go to the medium max section and we're gonna drop the cat and the, the Holander. Oh, I said last time that the Holander was a light mag. This one is not. Alright, still in dead. Bond less. 100,000. 400 still. Boom. Black Knight. I don't need a Black Knight. Sure. We have a lot of things that I really don't care about, like this Mortis here. Good. Almost done. And an Orion BA. Here we go. So, that is that. Do I want to build anything else? I mean, we have this beautiful Stone Rhino with LB5s, but... <sighs> so many Stone Rhinos. Too many, actually. Too many. Nah, I think it's fine. So, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for the Rhino to be ready, and then we're gonna drop it on the battlefield. Drop a 4 complete. 4. I mean, we don't really have the money to build anything. But we want these upgrades. Yeah, I don't have enough. Let me quickly go to the store. The Carnage upgrades are super duper important in order to get more mechs and bigger mechs on the battlefield. So that's the thing that we need to take care of. And engines. You now the valuables here. That's some clan double heat sink kits that we can sell. Boom. Nice. Now we can go to engineering and build our 50 ton upgrade. Okie dokie. Alrighty, guys, we have the Lone Wolf, the Timber, and the Stone Rhino in repair right now. And. Wait. Um. The timber is not a thing that I need anymore. Right? Right. There's nothing that we want to build around the guy. No, let's actually drop on the battlefield. Let's find a mission and then test out our Rock 20. God, it's gonna be so good. Which one is it gonna be? I feel like an assassination is due. In the polar environment. Sure, let's do it. Against the Lurin. Hell yeah. Um, and I'm gonna take 3 out of 12. That should be enough. Alright guys, here we go. This is our... Oh god, what is this again? This is now the LRM Dire Wolf. Huh. Is it better than the German Gunder? I would say most likely. Then we have the, the Hyper Mata. God, look at all of these. It's crazy. And the Stone Rhino X, that's the thing that I want to bring to the battlefield today. Is there anybody who has affinity with the Stone Rhino? Um, you definitely not. You, maybe Sorcerer? Would be nice. No, still has a Lepolis affinity. I don't know how to tell, honestly. Atlas Stormcrow Avatar. Yeah, I think, hmm, since we are running an interface cockpit there, um, we have to take you, huh? Boom. Burkwood, get out of here. Get some missiles online. Direwolf are you. You are a hyper gauss direwolf. It's too much. It's way too much in terms of tonnage. I want to shoot some missiles. Let's go with this. I think we're good. Ish. Let's go, guys. <laughs> this is so insane. So damn insane. And yeah, I mean, Tinka is ready again. I should put her on the Nidhogg. But hey, it's fine if she practices a bit here. Alrighty then. Let's go. I also feel like Decker should be the missile guy. On the wolf. I think he has the bandit skill. And that makes a lot of sense there for the cluster bonus. Holy hell. We have so many crazy mechs uh, that I completely lost track of. Which mech is good? Which mech needs still some uh, some upgrades? This is so cool, man. Yeah, we have options. Maybe I, sh I should a bit I should take a bit of time and actually sit down and you know take a look at where we are, what we have, and uh, you know write down what specific mechs still need in order to make them really good. But I wonder if my Rack Twenty is even viable. I mean, it's kind of a meme build anyway, right? So have that very short range weapon that fires a lot and deals a lot of damage but we need to put that uh stone rhino somehow to the front line i don't see yet how we're gonna do that not at all not at all it has mask sure but it will be on the front line and it will be very very alone there just uh, having some company of some fires around it but if we can bring it out there and and shoot once or twice and you know we see enemies explode in front of us i'm already happy Reactor on let's go Assassination. Let's do it. Let's see if we can find some goodies here. They have two support lances plus the main target. 
And then some, maybe some random supports on top of that. Game doesn't tell me yet. Interesting. Also, it's dark. Ooh. Sure, we're gonna drop behind you. That's good. Right here. Why not? A little ambush. Sneaking up behind them with 100 ton assault max. Okay. Ah, there it is. Support lances up here, ambushers are here, supporting forces there, and there's the Lyran guy. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be a very dense area filled with metal. Here they come. Alright, what do we have? Nidhogg. Hyper velocity auto cannon 20. It's not the worst. Oh, a behemoth. Nice. I haven't really seen king crabs yet. Who is John Bauer? Banshee 5S. John Bauer. Special variant. Victor. Templar. I don't care. This behemoth is gonna be our... Our nemesis, I believe. He's hard to crack. If I'm not mistaken, behemoths have a lot of damage reduction. You better take care of them. Owens is scooting around. Zukov. Nasty. But manageable. There's a Zeus! Ah, the Steiners. Okay, let's go. Let's set up somewhere. And I would say... The Marauder wants a lot of direct line of sight later on. So we, we're gonna move. We're gonna brace. Damage reduction is key at this point. Especially when we are in open terrain. We definitely want every damage reduction that we can get. Sorry for the cam. It's kind of wacky right now. Try to get you a nice overview and... Preventing me from doing that. Same here. Move and brace only. And I think I want to split up a little bit. Because there might be artillery somewhere. Okay, what do we have? Two medium laser, ERPPC, Tigard. LB10 auto cannon, ERPPC, Tigard, SRM4, Holy. Cool. Let's go. Sprinty sprint with the Nidhogg. What are you? Tag Barrage, LB20. Another LB20. Light PPC, LR, uh, MRM20, bolt on, tandem rocket, advanced AMS. It's a very weird way to look at the list here. It's jumping around all the time, but hey. This guy is nasty. You can punch some big holes into my armor. Alrighty then. Enhanced LRMs. Move and brace. Alright, let's get down to it. How much we can do here? So let's go ahead and use the mask right away. Let's see how far we can go with it. Mask, if I'm not mistaken, gives us sprint or move bonus. Sprint for four. Four, move for two, and get entrenched and guard it. I think this is a sprint. I want to get as close as possible to these guys anyway. Here we go. Another flyer. On the other flank. Taking a wide fan here. And you ride through the middle? Sure. What missiles? Flares? Yeah. And the hyper velocity auto cannon 20. This Nidhogg is one of the worst flyers that you can get. Ah, yes. And then the carrier. The carrier definitely wants to be in cover somewhere. Like hard cover. Very squishy. So protected in the first phase of the game. Now it's on. Let's see what they can do. Oh, he might actually crack my tank. Or he might do nothing. Because... Dumb. Fair enough. Who's next? Zeus brings an ear PPC, ear large, medium pulse, one ear medium, and LRM 15. Yes. This is a Double LB10 and a streak LRM 10. Also advanced AMS, which will be nasty. Against my missiles. That. The Boku. Double LRM 10, quad AC2, two large laser. Nice. That's a pretty good long range setup. I like that one. So, the question is what are we doing with our rock slash bomb dude? I feel like sprinting over here and trying to get the Banshee down. It's a good target. 
Uh, it's also our main target, mine. But I keep my bombs for later. Bam, ba bam. Very nice. I want to tear the behemoth apart with my Rock 20. Maybe. Oh, wait a second. The Rock 20. It has a self knockdown chance. And I think we already counted to war three. I think we can fire three times reliably without a self knockdown chance. Maybe I should have braced, because when you brace, the next self knockdown is um, reduced by 100%. So I, I should take care of my, my, my stone rhino. Bracing it before I shoot six times. But you know what? Now we're here. Now we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, stay on target. Banshee's our main target right now. Shooting the missiles as well, because I can. Actually, currently he's guarded. Maybe that makes no sense. No, let's keep those... Those consumables. Pretty good. Templar Victor. Okay. Yeah, back up. There's nothing to see here. LRM 20. So do we want to take this out before I shoot my LRMs? Might be a good idea. The advanced AMS is just eating a lot of them. Oh, has nothing really. Is it 20, two machine guns. Oh wait. It's another big guy, it's Ultra. This is the one I I was referring to. Okay. Eight evasion plus AMS Mark II, which will be empty quite quickly. PRPPC. Yeah. Absolutely, let's take the Zukov down. Let me see, how much armor do you have? I feel like I need to go Warlord and Offensive Push to a specific component, which is the side of the guy. Not quite done. Alrighty. Absorbed it like a boss. Here's the Behemoth. Not in line of sight, which is great for us. Double LB20s, man. Right side, huh? Up here. So the Zeus actually hit our Yamun gun now. How do we take care of this Zukov before it does the thing? Hmm. 13. I mean, I could use my Rock 20, right? I could. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. We're gonna go over here. Also, does Vigilant also count as a brace? I wanna try. Uh, and we're gonna shoot standard ammo. And I think sh three shots are enough. I don't wanna get into recoil too much. Yeah, man. Amazing. So, tank down. Now our missiles are free to go. Nightstar. Ooh, interesting. Uh, okay. I mean, it's an interesting chassis. It's 95 tonner, bunch of energy, two ballistic hard points, uh, nothing too crazy. Um, let's go over here. I know I have this fly on my back, but I let's get down don't really it. care right now. I want to attack the zoos at long range. Who has that LR, uh, that AMS, huh? You. Yeah. Advanced AMS behemoth. Alright. Um Rockets. It's not really a good target right now. Behemoth is. Especially when we can get in his back. Okay, let's go over here and just shoot the PPC, I believe. Maybe the heavy rockets because they are they're quite okay right now. Just trying to I was really hoping that we could get a knockdown here, destroying the leg. Alrighty. So, turn eleven, it's your turn, John Bauer. This guy has to be pretty accurate. Um this guy has to be some kind of like Steiner hero person, right? 
He's a named character in his signature banshee. Clarence. Oh, yes. Oh, please. I'm gonna do that. Direwolf goes here. Are we doing No, just Artemis and standard stuff. Never mind, I thought about SAM, but not on a clan launcher. Uh, that's dead. Ah, okay. <laughs> the delayed kill. Super good. Super duper good. Now the carrier. I think we can either take the Zeus or John Bauer here. What with? Follow the leader. Mm. No, I want reliable damage. Let's go with standard ammo. Engine crit. That means he has the light or an XL engine because the side is a good hit. Interesting. All right. You know, this is the thing I'm gonna do for science now. Ask at 15%. Piloting 11. So for each point of piloting, you reduce the gem chi uh, the, the self knocked on chance by 1%. Don't blow up, mask. Please. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, we got unlucky here. Foot destroyed. An upper leg destroyed, but the ammo is intact. Hmm. <coughs> Well, well, well. Yeah, now we are so much in recoil. I guess I shoot three times. Still good enough, man. How do we get the mask blow-up chance down? That's a problem. I mean, 15%. I gambled and I lost. Sure. I was taking it. Huh. Uh, yes, as I was saying, I, I wanna... I wanna drop my bomb somewhere, but where? Maybe here on the Zeus. Oh yeah. Sojourner. Cool. Let's get the clusters down and keep the inferno. Oh never mind, we are not shooting anything because we overtwisted again. When will this bug be fixed? Please. Please fix that. <laughs> I'm falling for it so often. <sighs> okay. For all of you who don't know what happened, I had a line when I looked at my destination and when I confirmed it, the line was gone, the line of sight. Because it was kind of just on the edge or something. Super weird when that happens. But okay, it happens. One man I should just kill the guy, get the behemoth and run. Because we already tested the things that we wanted to test and... This alone is good salvage. I don't need anything more than the behemoth parts. See. It really comes down to where the um, evac zone is, obviously. So far, so good. I want to have a turn. Give me a turn. It's a turn. I like this turn. Hans imaging. Fence of push. The side holes. This is about the kill. So, target eliminated. Where do we have to go? <laughs> you see the yellow zone up there? Like here? Zeus X4, interesting. I guess uh, this is all about elimination, huh? We're, we're not messing with uh, getting out of here alive. Alright, let's kill the Zeus, because we can. Boom. It's not quite a kill, but I think we have a knock. Nope, never mind. Not even that. Or the leg would be destroyed. Fair enough. He's actually gonna activate once more before he's going down. So, what are you doing, mister? Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Okay. Make him the forest on the hill. Look at him. Look at this guy. Pretty beat up. So... That brings us to... And should I attack the behemoth from behind? Yeah, it's a good opportunity. I'll take it. Say hello to my little laser beams. And we also got the missiles now. Since we are attacking from behind, his guarded state means nothing. I think I'll even drop the bombs. 
Ah, actually. I have a low hit chance. Yeah. This might be just an opener for somebody else to follow up. And yes, I said it earlier, this guy has a lot of damage reduction. <laughs> Let me see. Gyro Dreadnought. Uh-huh. 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 Stable hardened are the quirks. Exactly. But uh, no upper damage reduction, no upper hardened. Just the quirk plus the dreadnought gyro. Jump booster pack three. Oh, interesting. Double XL engine, you say? Nice hoodies, man. Let's make some bad All right, active ability, multi target. Let's say I attack the victor already. And we finish up the Zeus. That's it, basically. Um, let's do it like. Give me a second. How do we do it? LK on the Victor? Sure. A bit of a start here. Seven damage per missile is nothing to sneeze at. And this might be a kill. This is definitely the knockdown, right? It's not. Oh. Well, who needed anyway? Well, 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 he's a night star. He's not able to get anywhere right now. Oh, so since I said our goal is total and utter destruction of our enemies, uh, we're gonna destroy our enemies. And this flyer here is very suited to go for the Dabuko. Though, CM GMing, you say? Cheating. Bombs anyway. Keep the rockets around. Inspired, perfect. So, more lerms. There's also an Owens on the sidelines, let's not forget about that guy. More lerms. Could I take the zoos? Yeah, I should, I guess. It's not a good hit chance at all. This is carrier. Ah, I see, I see, I see. What can the carrier do? Swarm and regular ammo, I guess. Swarm should now destroy the leg. Oh. Alright. I guess he has like two hit points or so. Ah. Oh boy. Uh, yes, let's uh, go somewhere and uh, shoot the only target that we have in front of us. Boom. Oh, wow, this Zeus is holding on to life. Absolutely insane. He's down to five health on the leg. It's crazy, man. It's so damn crazy. LRM 20 clan times two. One micro pulse. Pew, pew, pew. And a an heavy large laser. Cool. I think we want to stay in motion. Let's stop. Always move. It's not the smartest thing to do. But it's the fastest thing to do if you want to kill. So let's go ahead and kill. Uh, Zeus X, also our heart nuts to crack. I think I'm gonna go for the Templar first. Bombs, bombs. Um, anti air rockets can also be fired. We don't need them. Some damage. I'm splitting up my damage horribly, I know. But I think overall. Gets us where we want to be. Interesting choice to go for the Marauder here. Well, I'll take it. The AMS is helping. Burner? Nothing. Um, so. Another backstrike. Worth it? We got the rock ready. Seven evasion is good, I'll take it. Um, but I might be in my own cluster bomb radius. Am I? It's difficult, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I took a bit. It's nothing too crazy though. And he took damage, but very little. On the other side of the battlefield, the Nidhogg fighting against the, the Boku. Might lag him. Oh, eat you say. That's interesting. Hey, okay. yeah, get hot, man. And then shut down so I can actually hit you. 
Be nice. 24. The Owens. Ah, little backstabber, a sneaky guy coming in from the sideline. But the only thing he does is shooting two LRM5, uh, five, two LRM5 Delta. Another guy here. Victor. I've got 20. That's a backstrike against his own friend. This is very risky with the big doors around and the 20 rated weapons. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Can I get out of the forest? Hmm. Now what? Let's drop the zoos. Oh, no. There's so much damage wasted on a single target, but I guess he has to go. Pretty good. You're strong, man. Really hoping that you are coming around here so my stone rhino can fire at you. That, my friends, is a hit on a Nidhogg with an LB20 auto cannon. Unjammed AFS. What do you want? My goal is to get into right. line of sight here. We want to get on the hill and then shoot these guys with our long range stuff. Um, but there's also an Owens. Able to hit the guy in the back. Oh, I am. I am actually able. Up out here? I think the answer is yes. Specifically, incendiary LRMs. We have so many different things here, and we have an answer to every situation. One Let's go ahead and overheat him. Right also dealing damage while we're doing this. Very nice. Ida is bleeding out. 27 well, activations. Who needed salvage anyways? Okay, okay. 46 structure on the left. Uh, on, on the leg. Left. On the leg. Turn on mask. What could possibly go wrong? This is it? Ah, really? Anyway, I'm gonna fire my weapons. These weapons are LRMs, um, and I think I'm gonna just go with best hit chance. The Templar already took some damage. Might as well go for it. Bring out wherever I can. So, man, I really want to get into Lana's side against the big bulk of mechs down here. MS out of ammo. That's it. This is the last shot. An 18. Who are you? Night Star, huh? Yeah. Such a beautiful mech, by the way. I love this thing. It's very dark right now. I don't know if you can see it, but... God, this is so sexy. Kind of falls into the same category as the Marauder for me. Chicken Walker, like, big, streamlined design, big butt, small, small cockpit. Love it. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna use my flyers as backstabbers. You cannot really hit this, what was his name? Daboku, anyway. Um, so might as well go for things that we can hit. This is the Night Star. Can we clean up here? Yes, we can! Perfect! So, this guy is very hard to reach, and our flyer was the right answer to that. LRM-15. We have a carrier. Not a good target. Could I attack the Templar? 21 is not bad. I have to wait for him to overheat, yeah. Oh wait, that's the Owens. No, no, no. I wanted to see the Dabuku. Where are you? Hard to hit. Yeah, let him overheat. I'm gonna go for the Templar at this point. With, uh... Hmm. We have more incendiaries here. But there is diminishing return, so with every attack of fire that you put on a mech, the amount of heat that you generate is getting lower and lower. I'm dropping swarms. 
I want reliable damage in this area. Zeus X is also taking a bit of it. Tiny amounts. But hey, every point helps. And plus angry! Yeah, oh he is! We gotta disengage at this point. Big time. Hey. Another backstrike against the behemoth. Will we eventually breach him or not? I don't know. This is, this is the over twist thing that I, that I told you about. This is a green line now. And I move around here. If I click my mouse, the green line is gone. It's now a white dash line. A dotted line. It's bad. Same here. What? I don't want to sprint. Minimum distance, huh? Here we go. I don't want to sprint so that I have higher accuracy. Give him some infernos as well. But the rock first. Okay, the heat is good. This is very helpful. I can already see myself regretting what I'm doing because my Stone Rhino is coming around the corner attacking him from the front when he's already damaged in the back and all of our back damage didn't matter and I could have saved those three Alpha Strikes for something else. But I, I take it. It's fine. Wolf. Will he ever get into line of sight? I guess not. We're gonna stand and shoot. Yeah, I like that attack. Do it like this. Enough? Um, I don't know. I, th I think he's incapacitated or something. The mech is all of a sudden... Uh, vanish from our sensor, so I believe we got him. Little guy. He's shooting indirectly, that's great for us. We still got ammo. Anti-missile system is rattling like a madman. Victor's just backing up, not doing anything. That's a pretty good thing for us. So we still have bombs, and these two are really good targets, to be honest. Take this. Let's try to bring the Victor down with the 20. The Ultra 20. Maybe it's enough. That is good. We didn't destroy the Ultra Auto Cannon 20, but this Victor is at the brink of death. Sadly, it's got a turn. But he is so intimidated that he just tries to get away. Will not get away. Zeus is running. Yeah, man, these enemies. They're scared. I hit the Owens. I cannot. So we push with the Marauder. Nothing else to do. And you know what? Let's go Vigilant for a bit of initiative bonus. There's not much that we need. Blam, blam, but no hit. Oh, he's turning his back against... Oh. Oh. Come on. I have another 15% chance to fail. Turn it off. Let's go over here. And I would say we go Vigilant. Because again, the whole braced self-knockdown scenario. I don't trust it. And since we are not in recoil right now, we can go nuts. Six shots, 76 damage each. This guy's gonna go down. Did somebody see a behemoth? I didn't. Holy crap. Um... Question. Are we out of ammo? Oh, there's the knockdown. Aha! So, we have now established that Vigilance doesn't help you. I guess the rules specifically say you have to brace the turn before. We didn't brace and we didn't do it the turn before. We Vigilance this round. So, I guess we have to do some more science. Does Vigilance the last round help? I don't know. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Gotta figure it out. I'm doing this for, for you, so do, you don't have to do all of these mistakes. Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. I think the Templar is right for the taking, but this is a backstrike. 
But LK, follow the leader. Hmm. FTL could be a killer here. Let's try. One attitude adjustment coming right up. If it hits, if all of them hit. Yeah, that was a gamble. But hey, good clustering. What this is good for. I'm gonna go for this guy here. Maybe finishing him. It's unlikely. With a single snub nose PPC, there's not much we are doing here anymore, but still. Turk! Or LRM. What about we stand and shoot? We go for the owns. I like that idea. This little guy has very low armor. And all of these needle stings, they actually hurt him a lot, relatively speaking. And nothing to do. Maybe Owens is coming around. We'll see. He shows himself up here, we're gonna turn around and kill him. This Marauder is not gonna see any other target in front of him anymore. So, the pilot is bleeding out. That is a problem, but not a big one. So, I'm not gonna stand up now. On your feet, mech warrior! Cool. And... I cannot really move afterwards. Nope. Um... Good swarms? Nope. The negative. And try to hit the Templar with whatever. And, and yes, we have like 30 shots, like 5 alpha strikes of caseless ammo left. It's good to know. Also, vigilance. What does I need to know? <laughs> Unit can move. Thus, should move. Okay. Yeah. Uh, stand, move, done. Rock 5 risk. We got some bombs. We cannot shoot. But let's go ahead and sensor lock the zoops. I really hope it helps. Evasion is unchanged. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Nothing is good here. Mm, but 38% might kill. Almost. The backstabbing is not strong today. Although I take it back. The Night Star just got vaporized. That was good. And the Victor also got vaporized. And the Behemoth got vaporized. You know what? I'll take it back. That is great backstabbing today. Absolutely fantastic. Because not every shot is a kill. It's still good. Did we get some salvage from the Behemoth? Or did we completely obliterate it? Maybe I should have gone a bit easy on him. Not good. Um, hunting and Owens. Yes. Oh wait. Oh, oh, look at this. There's a gap. We're gonna fire through the gap. Very nice. Our PPC sniper can do a thing. Like it. Not the biggest damage, but it is damage. So the radical heatsink cooling kit. It's a little bit over. Hmm. Um, overcharged now. Another backstrike. Sure. Uh, we have only 20 swarms left. I need to count real quick. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 130 missiles that we have. This is 120. <laughs> so much. So many. Um, let's go ahead and shoot... This? Really hoping that we can finally finish the Templar. Nice. Alrighty then. Turn 23. It's the Victor time. Actually, it's Sojourner. Our AMS is holding. Man, I love that so much. The double AMS Mark II with enough ammo on an assault mag that just sits in the middle of the fight and protects everybody. It's just beautiful. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Line of sight, baby. I'll take it. 
checking my hit chance against the Owens, and it says, oh baby, yes, let's go. Same time, there's a Zeus X. Maybe I should go Alpha Strike on this guy this time. Again, with follow the leader. Sure. I'll do it. One attitude adjustment. Last 60 missiles. Not enough. This time. Now that I have my... My supercharger on, my jet booster. But I want this guy off the board, and I want you to be somewhat safe. So let's... Yep, there it is. Another injury, but it's no big deal. Zeus had to go. Again, I'm taking risks, and I'm accepting things here because I... I first of all, I want to finish the mission, and secondly, I want to test this whole Rotary 20 situation. You want to go now. Let's go somewhere where it's not in the middle of the fight. Right here, behind cover. Yeah, with this very exposed cockpit. Ah, uh, sorry, rotor. This cockpit is here, so if this guy, if this component is gone, we would lose the pilot. But um, the rotor is also extremely exposed already. There's no need to lose a thing. Hmm, I say. Much to do here with the carrier. I'll do it like this. So we got 35 swarms. That's 30, that's 5. And then standard, sure. At some point we have to just take care of the omens. That's a headshot, nice. So might as well do it now. Alright. Uh, the Rock 20. It would be horrible overkill against the, the Light Mech. You know what? I'm hoping that he comes around, so I'm gonna wait. Let's reserve this. I did go Vigilance last round, correct? So again, our science is still... still working. Bomb Infernos plus a Rock, uh, Rock 5 this time. Sure, into the open back of the already damaged Victor. That's a good target. I'll take that shot. Not enough. Not enough. Never mind, I'll take it back. Exactly enough. So... Go also on Owen's defense. Wait. Hilt. Hilt, 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 hilt. Only one target in front of us. And at this point, I think I'm gonna cool down my radical heat sink kit. I need to. Ah. Now, the fun thing is... That with the emergency coolant system and the radical heatsink kit active, I can fire all my weapons and get below the threshold. So we're fine this instance. But anyway, what kind of missiles do we fire? This is a stress test for the build already. And I like it. Thunder, we got Artemis, we got Standard. But Standard is almost empty. This is the last shot of Standard ammo. The rest has to be Artemis. Alright, fair. Bad rain. So good. And we are cooled again. I like these. Build up heat until it's getting critical, but then having this big flush of cooling coming down to help you out. So kind of pushing the red line and, and riding the heat scale like that. Comes in waves. There we go. It's a very good clan mech, by the way. I like his items that he has. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Yes, um, hmm. <laughs> we'll stand here and shoot. Alright, let's go for the Victor again. It's showing us his back, if I see that correctly. It's incendiary. Nah, this is LK. Let's go. Put. That's what the Steiner say. Down he goes. Two more enemies. One is here on the sidelines, and one is the Sojourner on the other side of the battlefield. If I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, I believe so. 
I'm gonna wait. Let's come over here. Just get over the ridge. You get a better line of sight. You, you know, you, you hit with your weapons. With all of your weapons. Exactly! Medium and small lasers. They need to be fired as well. Look at this. The barrage coming down. That's the right choice, buddy. Absolutely fantastic. Um. But it's very good. Beating out? Fine. Here. Let's kill. Let's go. Eh, almost. Um, in this case here, by the way, we can go back. And we go vigilant, so we are hopefully fast enough next round to disengage again. We have a lot of vigilance right now, so we uh, we crank it up to 11. Vigilance stacks, by the way. In terms of initiative count. Eh, not you. Uh-uh. Yes, thank you. Leading out 14 activations. Don't have the best hit chance, but again, this is for science. Ah, Vor doesn't have the focus fire ability, so... Recoil is an actual issue here. I'm gonna shoot six times. Mm, I'm also going vigilant again. For science. So yes, the Owens actually dodged every shot. And now the question is, are we gonna get knocked? Maybe the Vigilance last turn helped. Maybe we were lucky and the roll on the table was uh, in our favor. I guess we will never know. Uh, hello? Oh, what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna hot load my stuff. SRMs. Fire. Down he goes. So, hot loading removes the minimum the minimum distance of inner sphere LRMs, but have a chance to crit the weapon. Which is fine, because we don't need that thing anymore. We are basically done. We have one enemy over there. I wouldn't do that at the very beginning of a mission. Unless it's a very desperate call. What is there any? I guess I run. This is what we uh, use all the vigilance for, so might as well. Go. Your last activation now. Make it count, buddy. That doesn't count. Great. Let's get out of here and get some behemoth parts. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. So, still bleeding out. Move around here. Uh, shoot our missiles, funnily enough. And we got them for a reason. Jam. And now we can go in his back again with all the laser beams and hoping that we can take him down. Well, he's down to a micro pulse laser. And the pilot knows it. Mission successful. Very nice mission. Alrighty. Big end from the barrage. We love it. <sighs> and now back to the salvage screen. That was fun. That was, I mean, again, I was messing around a bit because I wanted to test a new mech and I wanted to see how it performs. It is a hard mech to play, I would say. Getting it into optimal line of sight, managing the recoil, the self-knockdown chance and everything is, is a tedious task, to say the least. Then the whole mask situation, it's not optimal. Hey! Buy it a rock 20. That's the thing I can I can say. No special affinities. I really I really don't care. It hog gunship. That's the hyper velocity one. Yeah, not ours. We want that? Yes. Let's get it. Templar, Zeus, sure, Zukov. Hmm. I wonder if we should pick more ERPPCs. We have two lying around that we are currently not utilizing. Having a third doesn't help us, no. LB10 auto cannon, no. Um, that's another LRM20. But what? We have three? How many LRMs does a single person need? Advanced zoom. It's not advanced optics. I'm gonna say no to that. 
Honestly, I don't see any good stuff. Ah, wait. There's A and B. Um, this could be money for us. Like, eating kits are always nice. Cracker sensor is nice, but I... No, we have zero currently. Cracker sensor is actually nice, yeah. Supercharger doesn't fit in our stone rhino, sadly, because the center torso is filled with the big gun. Uh, unless... This guy's running... Is this... XL, can I put a supercharger into the side horses as a result? Interesting idea. I have one lying around. Maybe I should take a look at it. The thing about the Stone Rhino is the engine is a quirk and it doesn't actually is represented within the paper doll silhouette. I have no idea, honestly. This is Ultra Auto Cannon 20 ammo that feeds the Ruck 20 Pirate. Let's mess around, guys. Let's have some fun. There's a safe game breaking patch on the horizon. Let's do some weird stuff, all right? So, we get some fusion cores. Love to see it. Sell them. Duke of Banshee. Sure. Small laser. Sure. Uh, heatsink. Jump jet. Fusion engine. And an LB10 slug ammo bin. Alrighty, guys. We have some <clears throat> injuries and some mild critical things to repair. But other than that, we're perfectly fine. The test run. Was successful, I would say. It definitely needs to be better. But that was the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.